I've been a puzzle head my whole life. I love games, but I particularly like puzzles because puzzles have definite answers. With games, we're playing, but you don't know if you're playing chess, you don't know if you're playing the best possible chess move. Whereas with a puzzle, once you finish putting the last letter in a crossword or the last digit in Sudoku, you know you have done something perfectly, and that's very satisfying. I became the crossword editor at the New York Times in 1993. Crosswords have gotten better over the years. The themes have gotten more sophisticated, and the clues just aren't from the dictionary anymore. They're based on real life. Puzzles that I ran 10 or 15 years ago in the New York Times, I might not even accept today because they're not good enough. I don't want to stump you. I'd like you to be able to finish the puzzle, but I'd like you to have to, uh, have to work to get the answer. The sweet spot is the clue or the puzzle that really makes you work and even pushes you to the limit where you think you can't do it, and then you do finish it. That's the experience I'm trying to give you as a solver. A couple of years ago, there was a brain expert at my house to discuss crosswords, and uh, I said a little naively that when they do imaging of brains, when people are solving crosswords, that all parts of the brain are lit up because crosswords engage so many parts of the brain. And he corrected me. He said, that's not true. But crosswords do exercise most of the brain. And it does so in lots of ways. First of all, vocabulary and language, uh, and your knowledge of everything, from stuff you learned as a kid in school up to uh, you know the latest record or sports star. Also, your pattern recognition, your mental flexibility, your, even your sense of humor. Later on in our conversation with this brain expert, I mentioned that I am uh, fanatical about table tennis. He said, that lights up every part of the brain that crossword solving doesn't. The game is so fast, you don't even really have time to think about what you're doing when you play it. What you should be thinking about during a match is strategy. You know, your technique should be automatic. You should be working on your strategy as you're playing. Table tennis is a thinking person's game, and it uh, doesn't mean you have to be brilliant to play it, but it helps to be smart.